Wouldn't it be nice if you could wake up every day looking as flawless as some of those gorgeous celebrities? Well, guess what? Most of them do not wake up that way either. They usually have a little expert help. So or a you, lot. If you want to get <laughs> Kim K's eyes or J-Lo's cheeks or Kate Hudson's lips, we've got tips from celebrity makeup artist Ashley, Ashley Glazer. Glazer. Hey, girl. How Hi are guys. you? Hello. Welcome. Good morning. Now, the Kim K eyes, those seem a little hard to perfect, huh? So what we're going to do in yeah. this trick yeah. is uh, talk about the liner. Okay. So Kim K is such beautiful beautiful, exotic, almond-shaped eyes, yes. but I'm going to show you a trick how everyone can achieve that okay. same look as Kim. All right. As you can see so here, Nikki's we've right already here. done one eye. Okay. You look good, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to match her so she can go out for the rest of the okay. day. Okay. So we're going to take a mechanical pencil. Just uh -huh. look up for me. I like to start with the liner first, and I like to use a pencil that you don't have to sharpen. You're going so it's inside. really, really smooth and go on the inside ah, of the ah, eye. Ah, 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 ah. I like to trace it a few times okay. to get it really dark uh -huh. and all go the all over. the way into the inner corner to give that really exotic V like Kim K always has. Okay. Just look down for me. And then I like to do the inner upper waterline, okay. which is a fun trick and it makes the lashes look super thick. So you don't do oh, it all the like way across. You scribble it all in there. Yeah, you that. get all inside the yeah. liner. I know it looks a little funny, but it looks like it's painful. Okay. <laughs> is it painful? Just a little. <laughs> no pain, no gain. But right. a good way to do this at home is to look into a handheld mirror, so you look down at yourself, so that way you can kind of see that inner okay, rim. Let's, all let's right. show a little bit of the. Uh, we've got a little eye shadow and some mascara. Yep, so now uh -huh. we have a little shadow. I like to mix the neutrals. Uh, one of the Kim K looks we were doing was a mix of gold and bronzes, so that way we just get a nice balance, so it's not too smoky. This look is more focused okay. on the liner. Got and it. That's beautiful and stuff. And then you coat on the mascara, huh? Yeah, then right. lots and lots of mascara. Okay, looks okay. Okay. pretty. Let's come on down. Thank you, Nikki. That was excellent, what you just did. Okay, everybody wants <laughs> JLo's cheekbones. Candy wants JLo's cheekbones, so what should you do? <laughs> Your face out, yeah. Okay, so what we've done here already is we've given her a nice warm contour of the skin. I like to use a matte bronzer to give that really warm shadow. So where do you put the contour? I like to do it like a number three, okay. along the forehead, under the cheekbone, under. and along the jaw to really sculpt and shape out the face. The trouble is if you put too much of that then on, you can like look like a clown, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I like to keep it to the outside okay. so it looks really fresh and, and really what? natural. Uh huh. Ooh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> and not in the mouth. Oh, right, <laughs> brush. Yeah, not in the mouth. Uh -huh. And then we're going to do the blush. So my trick for blush is using two fingers away from the nose as your guideline, and you're going to start applying your blush on the outside of your index finger. Okay. Let me put this color down so that way we can, okay. I can explain a little better. Yeah. This way. Yeah. You're going to start here on the top oh. apple of your cheek. Blending outwards. Okay. So that way it gives you a really uplifted, high, oh, young, nice. fresh cheekbone. Yeah. That looks good. And I like to whisk the brush out so you're not, you have no end. It's Th just where it ends. All where right. It thank begins. you, J Lo. All right. Come on thank down. You. Gorgeous. <laughs> All right. Now we need lips. We want Kate's lips, huh? Yes. Okay. So Kate Hudson and the color we chose is a really beautiful berry lip. Lipsticks are a huge trend for spring. All different colors, all different textures. Okay. So we've chosen a lovely berry shade for Olivia here. And I'm really obsessed with using crayons. Crayons are so easy for everyone to do at home. I like to just fill in the lip. So no lining. No lining, but you use the pointed tip as your liner. Gotcha. Okay. It's just like cutting down your steps a little bit. I am okay. a big fan of liner myself too, but for an easy on the go, focus, it's nice to use a crayon. Okay, and then you just slather that up. And then gloss is making a really nice trend for spring. Uh -huh. It's making a comeback and we have this beautiful bun so that way you won't have to worry about the wind ruining okay. your makeup. And a little gloss, little same gloss color. on top. Yeah, a little gloss, same color. All right, Kate, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> thank you all Thanks, ladies. Ashley.